More serious allegations against the mother of the octuplets, Nadia Suleiman. This time from Angels in Waiting, the nurses she recently fired. Joining us now, Linda West Comforti, a registered nurse and the founder of Angels in Waiting, and Gloria Allred, who is their attorney. Ladies, good morning. Good, good morning, morning. Julie. Linda, morning. let me begin with you. Yes. What you were in the house, what is life like in Nadia Suleiman's house? It's chaotic, and that's an understatement. Um, her older children have no bedtime schedule, no schoolwork schedule. They're up till 2 o'clock in the morning running around the house. I literally myself had to get one out of the backyard around 1.30 in the morning because he was outside playing. He somehow escaped the nanny that was supposed to be watching the older children, and um, he was outside playing, and I asked him to come in, and that was literally minutes before we had an intruder in the backyard at Nadia Suleman's house because there is no security that has been provided for her the nurses or the babies that are in the nursery. What did you see Nadia Suleiman doing while <clears throat> you describe these children are kind of all over the place? Uh, honestly, I rarely saw Nadia Suleiman. She was either out shopping or up in her bedroom or just not available, not available to me and not available to her children. She said um, part of the reason that she kicked you out was because uh, you made her feel unsafe in her own home and she specifically said she didn't like what you were saying about her babies. Oh, she no, basically okay. said that you were telling her that the babies were going to be abducted and she said you kept saying it over and over. I was very, very concerned. One thing we have to understand that these babies' faces are all over the world. We have, I personally have had threats um, that these babies uh, need to be placed in other homes. Um, I was very, very concerned. First of all, uh, there's TV programs all over the lay of the house showing where the lay of the house is or how to get into the backyard. Um, we have locations on where the nurseries are. And I'm very, very concerned. We had no security whatsoever there. We had intruders three times in our backyard. By the time we called the cops, they were gone. And there's no security at all. My nurses were concerned, the nanny's voice concerned. So I talked to Nadia on several occasions. I talked to Nadia's dad that I am very, very concerned that these infants could be abducted or even worse, somebody could come in and hurt us all. Where is the security? And in fact, she asked Nadia, Julie, uh, to get a security guard. And I also sent an email to her attorney about the need for security, given that there had been an intruder. And what was her response? And the attorney did not respond uh, to my email. And in addition, uh, Linda says that uh, Nadia said that she couldn't afford a security guard, but she said that at the same time she was having an expensive jacuzzi bathtub installed right next to her master bath bedroom. So uh, I think that the security for the little babies and her other six children is more important than having a new jacuzzi put in. Gloria, in the final seconds, are you going to take legal action to see to it that Nadia Suleiman does not have the right to take care of her own children? No, but, uh, but Linda, uh, as a registered nurse who is a legally mandated reporter, who has a legal duty to report to the authorities if, they think, if she thinks the babies are uh, being neglected or in any way endangered, has filed three reports. And we hope that the authorities, Child Protective Services, will do what they can do to make sure that these little babies are protected. Because unfortunately, Nadia seems to be AWOL from taking real care of her own baby. She was only there to feed them and care for them eight hours of the 102 hours mm -hmm. that uh, Angels in Waiting was in the house. And she needs to get in there and start feeding her babies and bonding with her babies. And I don't mean just when the cameras are rolling, which is most of the time that she was there feeding them when we were there. Gloria Allred, Linda Comforti, thank you, thank you ladies. Thank, thank you. you.